R.I.P. flower pot. And we have a moment of silence for the flower pot. Thank you. Flower pot didn't last long. So yesterday, uh, you saw in the video where somebody pushed it over. <laughs> we set it back up. We left for the afternoon, do a bunch of running, go to the taxes and all that stuff. And before we got home, that happened. Somebody pulled in, empty driveway, backed out, clipped it with their front and just pulled it over. So now we'll clean it up. I'm not sure what we're gonna do. I guess in one way, it was just a way to get a bunch of dirt here to fill the hole maybe, I don't know. But RIP flower pot. I just had a eulogy for the flower pot. What's that? I had a moment of silence for the flower pot. All right. <laughs> hey, everybody. <laughs> We're having our treasures. I'm Donna. I'm Steve. It is Saturday morning. The sun's in my eyeballs. We're going to go. We're going to go rent a trailer and we're going to go pick some stuff up, some furniture yeah. pieces, and then we're going to go to a buyout. I can tell you now it's $700 worth of are you going to say it? Books and DVDs. But wait till you see what they are. Which may sound crazy. I'm hoping the guy will let me film a little bit in there, but I don't know. We don't know the situation for sure. I think he's an owner and maybe somebody got evicted or... We or don't know. We don't. We have no idea. So. What happened, yeah. But we're going to... we got things to do today, so we just thought we'll show you what kind Did of you craziness... Did you really have a eulogy for the flower pot? I had a moment of silence, yeah. <laughs> and everybody out there watching, they were silent. It oh, was, I see. There was a few well, snickers thanks. and laughs, but... <laughs> Uh, yeah, it was silent. Except the birds were chirping. Yeah. All right. So anyway, let's go see what kind of trouble we can get into today. <laughs> let's go. Oh my goodness, you guys! What a day, Donna! What a day! What a day! <laughs> <laughs> Things don't ever go as planned, and today didn't either. It is nine o'clock at night, and I'm about to show you what seven hundred dollars worth of books comic books and dvds looks like and i'll open some boxes up just to show you and i'll probably tomorrow morning like show you more as i kind of start to sort first show but, what i did with a bum foot what's that first show them what i did with the bum foot turn what him did you around. do donna turn him around <sighs> oh my goodness <laughs> i sorted all like, those over there and sorted all these so. yeah she was out here working all afternoon and What's all this stuff? Is this to go to storage? No, that's garage sale. That's garage sale. Garage sale. Is this storage? That's storage. This front is that's storage. eBay. And then back here is garage sale. And tomorrow we're going to take all this storage. We're going to get a whole bunch more stuff to sort for garage sale. Back here we got some dishes. They'll stay on this table during the garage sale. So they're set up now. So anyway. Three more racks, two more racks of clothes up here. And probably two more rows of boxes to go out for the garage sale. So it's gonna be a lot of stuff here, guys. Yes. Okay, so the day started and we were like, woohoo, let's go. We had a moment of silence for our pot. And then we went to this clean out, kind of emptying that we were just gonna, they were donating the stuff to us. You guys, we were not prepared for that. We thought it, it was way more than we thought it was, was the problem. So we took everything outside and all the people there that were kind of helping kind of empty the house. They were like, I don't think it's all going to fit, but between the trailer and the van, we got everything but one cabinet on, but it was, it was a lot. And now our storage units are just <clears throat> full, packed full, but it's kind of, it's not like stacked and organized so we can make room. Uh, my plan was to take pictures of the furniture there so I could just list it and have people pick it up. We couldn't do that. It was just, we got to do everything we can to get this all loaded. Oh my goodness. I'm going to go get what we found. So then after that, we were kind of whooped and the, this buyout, we got put off for a few hours because he didn't realize this kid had a ball game or something this afternoon. So he said, I'll contact you later tonight. So we went there at 645 and just got home at nine o'clock and books and comic books are heavy and they're heavy. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> what what is that <laughs> it's a trump bear it's a trumpy bear trumpy bear fun fun story we were if you at, know you know jess yeah Gina. and amy yes yeah and uh alicia yes. like anybody from last weekend if you know you know there's a trumpy bear 
um, he was in the house we just did, and when we were all done, I'm like, how much do you want for the Trumpy Bear? And he's like, you can just have it. So we got it. He's supposed to have a cape and stuff, but still, that's kind of cool. If you know, you know. Man, I almost showed you all the stuff without showing you the pictures first from on Marketplace where I got this stuff. Um, I definitely want to show you the pictures because look at this. These pictures, like, it's such a mess. There's just stuff everywhere and it's hard to see titles and there's just stuff everywhere. And so I think it played to my advantage because I was willing to do the work and bring them over my computer and try to zoom in and try to find as much stuff as I can to try to comp some stuff. So what I did, the DVDs, they wanted $300. I looked and I found, I was going to try to get it for less, but he, I wanted to wait till Saturday today because he was busy and see if he got any other better offers. And so I ended up paying what his asking price. The DVD is $300. What I did was I looked and I found right away like four things that equaled $200. And with everything else there, I thought, okay, I'll be good there. You know, mostly box sets, especially. And then the books, I didn't really want to do the books. I was ignoring the books. I just tried to buy the DVDs. But then when he couldn't do it for a couple of days, I was like, oh, I should probably look at these books. The books, I think, is where the money is. $400. I comped. There's a book here somewhere that I comped. It's a, I don't remember what it's called. Some special Bible or something about the Bible, teachings about the Bible or something. And it's like a $125 book or something. Um, there's a the set of the Essential Sergeant Rock, I think, sell for like $125 for comics for that. The Essential Books all the Spider-Mans and everything, and there's a bunch. They sell for like, I think average 15 to $20 a piece. So it did not take me long to get up to, you know, three to $400 with all this extra stuff, you know, after, after that. So I think we're gonna do really, really well. It just was and is going to be a lot of work, but I'm going to try to go through all this in the next few days, get as much list as I can, just flood my eBay store, so we can be ready for the garage sale and I can have the stuff listed. Because um, books and DVDs, they're not hard to list. I can get through them a lot faster than bigger items or whatever. So what does $700 worth of comic books and DVDs look like? Here's the beginning. I came home to get more tape. These are full and they are so heavy. And these are even bigger. And so chewy boxes. these, this, this one, and this one, man, they're heavy. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, so these are all full. I tried to keep everything to the back because I didn't want to have to crawl in here and pull yeah. things out. This is just my packing paper. Yeah. That I didn't, oh. oops, sorry. That I didn't need. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 boxes there. And then if we go to the back of the van, then the back of the van I have these are empty boxes. One, two, three, four, five more. Oh, you can't see. There's five more boxes back here. I think there were 16 and then the five, so that's 21. Here's a box I'm going to show you right now. And then, so that's 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 30 boxes of stuff. Um, <laughs> Ruth said, our friend Ruth said, there's a comics convention coming to Omaha. And I said, there's a comics convention coming to my eBay store. You so said my garage. My garage first and then my <laughs> eBay store. So like in here, I set this one aside because this is one of the things I saw when I was looking at whether or not to buy this. These are first two editions, one and two of Little Annie Fanny comics. Playboy Comics, and so they, I think they were like $100 to $120 for those two. We paid $700 for all this, and we literally just loaded. We just loaded, just loaded, just loaded. Loaded and wait. But in here, there's Veronica and Betty. There's Stoker's Dracula. I think in this box there is, yeah, here's Essentials, the Marvel Essentials. There's Howard the Duck. Oh, I there's had a whole There's Marvel those Horror. Too. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of, there's a whole bunch of Essentials, Marvel Essentials. Now on this side, there's a your favorite Seuss, Marvel retro characters, um, Amazing Spider-Man book. We had a ton of there's a uh, whole set Sherlock of these. Also. There's a lot of sets. So like this Red Sonya, there's whatever may there is in the set. There's the whole set in here. There's another one there. We had Buffy the Vampire Slayer too. And that's 
that's a lot of what the books are is the comic books not necessarily the thin ones but these big books and there's all the sets there's a lot of stuff you guys and so i'm not going to finish this video until like tomorrow i can open a few more boxes to show you more of like what it is but then all the dvds there's they're almost all like box sets of things so um we'll see what we can show you but now i gotta unload all this and they're heavy <laughs> i'm not helping <laughs> yeah no she is on she is on restrictive duty she has done I'm too much the way it is chair rest so yeah i better get to work if i want to get it back because we have to take the trailer back in the morning at like 9 30 in the morning so it has to be done tonight all right here is one box here and then there's what the other 29 boxes look like so that is right there all the comics dvds books and stuff so got my work cut out for me should we go through a couple right now let's just take a peek and i'll do some more tomorrow but i'm also going to take you we're going to go to storage tomorrow so we can show you what it looks like after yesterday morning's uh or get this morning's thing where we filled everything up so we're not going to end this video quite yet we're going to go storage but let's open just a few boxes here and these are not i don't know they did all the pack and i kept taping boxes and moving the boxes and loading so i don't know like what's in what at all it's not prepared so i might open a box of crappy ones but we're going to find out let's start right here on the end we got we got that little red book we got color me powerful comics never trust a calm dog and other rules of thumb what you can change what you can't these look pretty boring honestly but uh, american sign language rapid math tricks and tips um, there was a lot of learning books there was a lot of like get rich quick schemes which we've seen so many times in the past thousand one solutions to everyday problems okay this started with a boring book that's for sure boring box um yeah a lot of a lot of self-help books it looks like in here type things so let's move on from that one that wasn't fun i want to see fun let's look at this one all right and here we got vhs there were i didn't see much vhs here's all the bowls i was dude i graduated in 90 so the bowls through the 90s that was my thing man i had clothes i had hats i had everything um vhs they're probably not worth anything but i'll look them up here's some civil war there's a lot of civil war type stuff there's quite a few vhs stuff there's a see down there archie and there's amazing spider-man uh that's dvd rom i don't know much about that left behind series chicago bears uh, not a fan of them but that's all right what do we got here uh, Liberty Meadows cover girl not familiar looks like an Archie book honestly I'm not a comics guy I don't know much about comics good girl I don't know what are these they say Marvel on the back 16 month calendar detective comics 16 month calendar um, September 1939 I don't know much about this to have a year 2009 so this is a 2009 is this one 2009 or is this another like we have a collection yeah 2009 again so uh at least a couple 2009 comic calendars maybe they're collectible we don't know um vhs i don't want to dig all them out Let's see what's in here friday the 13th volume 20 complete series I don't know. They don't look like the Friday the 13th with Jason. So I don't know. I'll have to look into that. What's down in here? We got... Oh, oh, we don't want to show that one. There's a couple uh, inappropriates. That's a PC game. Sherlock Holmes The Awakened. They're generally not worth much. Yeah, there was a couple uh, adult movies in there, but... Alright, let's put these back. Take a look at another box here. See, I can't even stack it back in there the way it was. All right, where should we go next? Let's do this big one right here. DVDs, I see a DVD sign. All right, 
We have Dracula Complete Legacy Edition. That might be worth something. I don't know. Gidget. There's Gidget DVDs. Um, Stay ready to have on Friday the 13th. F Troop, not familiar. 1883 Flipper, The Flintstones. Father Dowling, Duck Dynasty. I know that probably ain't worth nothing. Xena. Hi, Xena. Yellowstone. More Flintstones. How I Met Your Mother. Complete series. Gilligan's Island. And under there we got Ted's True Calling. Daniel Boone. Two guys and a girl. What else we got under here? Some combat, combat videos. Hercules. Complete series videos. Uh, let's take another peek. We got Dark Shadows series, it looks like. It looks, it looks like comics so type horror movies or something. Dennis the Menace. And under here, we got Bob Newhart Show. <laughs> Probably not worth much. Uh, Branded, Bob, uh, Big Bang Theory. A lot of stuff here. Um, Dexter. So. All right, let's do one more. I figured it out. It's $23 a box. 30 boxes. It's about $23 a box. Um, you figure in $10 for the Chumpy Bear, I guess. Let's do one more. That looks like DVDs. If this is books. We'll do this. Well, this does not look like a fun box, but who knows? I see Wonder Woman down here. Let's get to Wonder Woman. There's a big Wonder Woman Spirit of Truth. Um, how to Draw Spider Man book. And how to think like Einstein. I don't want to think like Einstein. Way too deep. I don't need to be that deep. Um, I don't know what all is in here. So we're going to call it good. See some few DVDs or CDs or whatever. So probably not much there. So yeah, that's that. Let's do one more just because... I'm so curious. I just can't wait to work on this, but I don't think it's gonna happen tonight because it's been a long, long day. All right, let's take a look in here. Even though it's high up. There we go, Buffy the Bam Vampire Slayer. Omnibus, okay, so there's a whole set. Everything there was possible sets of, well, I saw the sets. Amusing Holmes, Rachel, I don't know. Sherlock Holmes. So there's a bunch of paperback, new Sherlock Holmes, that looks like a Sherlock Holmes, and under there, I don't know what those are, and I can't, this stack is high, I can't dig in that too much. We're going to call that good for now, and maybe, I'm hoping to get some more footage, some, some of the fun stuff, the comics and stuff, but that gives you an idea of what we're looking at, it's so much stuff, but I think it's going to be awesome, so I'm going to go in call it a night take some Tylenol it's been a long day and we're gonna go to storage in the morning and we will catch up then good morning YouTube it is a wonderful beautiful bright sunshiny Sunday morning and here's the stuff that we need to take to storage I put it all back here I'm gonna drive real careful it's not very far and hopefully I don't slam on the brakes and get into the trailer to pick up all the boxes that slid forward because the trailer is not near as tall as I am and my back is a little sore from yesterday so I really don't want to be crawling in the trailer. So I'm going to empty out the van. There's empty boxes in the front of it. Uh, get all that out and then Donna's going to join me. We're going to go to storage, take these, drop off the trailer and then we're going to take pictures of furniture so I can list them today on dollar auction so I can get them out of storage and we're gonna load up the van with some more boxes for her to sort for garage sale, dollar auction, eBay, whatever. So that's the plan today. We probably won't go through any more boxes today from the buyout, but I will show you what I did sort. I did that first box that was sitting on the table. The ones that I've already listed on eBay, I already took downstairs. Um, we didn't end up getting bookshelves because they were all like saggy shelves and everything. So my area in the office that we're going to do bookshelves we're probably going to have to find bookshelves on marketplace and do that so for now they're just going to get stacked downstairs uh, until we get a permanent solution figured out what i listed already that's taken downstairs i listed eight books 
for a total of I think it was like two hundred and forty dollars ish somewhere around there and then I sorted the rest of that and so dollar auction people if they like comics we're gonna have I'm gonna do dollar auction comics today along with some other things but all these we're gonna try on the dollar auction um, here's a pop-up spider-man book uh, yeah all them and then these over here these Archie series I think I'm gonna put them on the dollar auction too I could list the lot on eBay but it's just you know takes a lot of space I might try that on the dollar and then all these yet I'm gonna have I have to list these books here these top three are like you know 15 20 bucks or something and that's cool this is like I don't remember I could be wrong but this is like 20 bucks maybe 25 I don't know uh, this one isn't a whole lot 15 20 bucks this one's $15 I think this one right here there's none sold in the last 90 days but there's four I think listed and the cheapest one listed is $200 and it's listed all the way up to like $500 or something like that for this book so this one I think I'm gonna list under that $200 probably at like $150 $160 and we'll see uh, what it sells for what it sells and then there's a couple more I'll list here so so this is like this sells for like 40 or 50 bucks this is like a $20 I think I might be wrong I might be wrong on the exact amounts or whatever but it looks to me like from that first box and not all the boxes are gonna be this good but it looks to me from that first box I'm at about 220 I would say easily another 250 to 300 here let's say 250 just to be conservative um, so we're looking at almost $500 worth of listings in that first box so there are 29 more boxes over there obviously some of them are gonna be not much but some of them are gonna be a lot of diamonds in the rough too so this should be a lot of fun all right let's get to the storage unit and show you what <laughs> what a mess we have there hi everybody I'm hobbling down the hallway Hop along, hop, hop along. along, hop along. Okay. Lights. Lights. On, lights. Camera okay. action. Um, so, if you were at a storage auction and they opened this door. <laughs> what would you pay for it? Well, what would you pay uh, for it? What would you pay point. for it? This is the first, both of them are a mess now. Well. We always had a nice organized storage unit. Check it out. Now we look like somebody's on meth that got evicted out of their house. Because it's just piled in here. We look like some of the storage units that we buy. So this, I've, uh, it, I hope you can see it. I know it's dark in there, but I mean, it's just, we just set stuff in here because we were in a hurry. I mean, obviously if we organized it and stacked it, it'd be a lot better. But it's got a lot of big, weirdly shaped things in it. Well, note that Luke took all of his stuff, so that corner was empty. Like this whole oh, yeah, this three whole... quarters of this unit was yes. empty yesterday. It, yeah, half this this half for sure was empty, and that all came from yesterday, all of it. Yeah, so but that's, that's one. That's one. We have another, and then if the storage auctioneer took you over to this one and said this is the sister unit you can tell it's a sister unit because of the uh the Orange chairs. Chairs. oh man <laughs> this hurts <laughs> <laughs> uh, this all came everything in the middle from yesterday yeah we just had rows on each side and all this in the middle this over here is <sighs> stuff for ebay so we are set for ebay this is clean out stuff yeah and packing peanuts yeah basically this whole middle happened yesterday so today what we're doing is taking pictures we have just a little bit of boxes i showed you that's going to go in one of them <laughs> uh, we're going to load the van with boxes to sort and then we're going to pull out like this is a coffee table right here this table and the chair set with all the orange chairs we're going to pull all them out we're going to take pictures of them to put them on dollar auction today so they end tomorrow so they can be gone before this week next weekend yeah when we need to get stuff out uh there is a desk in here i'm going to take pictures of that 
all these rolling chairs. We're going to take pictures of those. So we're going to try to get rid of all this furniture in the next few days by being here today and taking pictures. So obviously we have our work cut out for us. So I think we probably just need to get to work and quit yeah. screwing around filming these YouTubes. Oh, but I like the YouTube videos. She likes videos. the YouTube videos. Yeah. I do too. Yeah. Uh, and I hope you do too. Like and subscribe. Share with your friends. Thanks for following along. And we'll catch you on the next one to see how much better it looks. Right, honey? <laughs> yeah, you'll get an update soon. Uh, probably a what sold video we'll make Monday from the weekend. But yeah, you'll see us soon. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Steve. I'm Donna. We're Happy Our Treasures. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye. I thought we were done filming. But let's show them. Let's show them what we did in the last, what, 45 minutes? Yes. Okay, check it out. We took pictures of all the furniture. Okay, we got room. Rearranged we got, it. We gotta put the tree back in here, but this we have pictures of to sell, put it on today. The chairs we have pictures to sell. Coffee table have pictures to sell. All these chairs, pictures to sell. And so now we stacked up and we have, once this stuff sells, we have all that room. at least half of a storage unit here. And we'll go take a look at the other unit. That is a Christmas tree and not a dead body. Just in case you were wondering. They say the storage unit is haunted. And if you listen really closely, sometimes you can hear Captain Hook with his peg leg roaming the halls. And in here, we actually loaded a whole van load of sorted boxes right there. Those are ready to go for eBay. We took pictures of the couch, the table, that thingamajigger and that thingamajigger. So these will all go within the next few days. As long as somebody bids on them, otherwise they'll be on the garage sale. And this stuff needs to come home to go to the garage sale. To sort and go to the garage sale. Yeah. So that's it. Peace B out. Bye. Say bye, Donna. Bye, Donna.